Hi, everybody. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a full case break of 2019 Topps Archives Baseball. Ten box. Pick your team number one. Ten boxes? I don't know why I wrote 12 here. Ten box. Pick your team number one. A very big thanks to all of these folks for getting into it. On Thursday, the 22nd, Daniel Hayes, double last spot mojo, gets two stars next to his name for that. Now, if you see a little rooftop next to your name like Elvis, that means you won that in some sort of team random some, at some point. There you go. Apparently, loaded with Expo stuff in here. We wanted to highlight that. So there is a case hit. There is like the Topps Magazine autograph that falls one per case. And there's two on-card autographs per box. A lot of fun inserts. A lot of good times. Good luck, everybody. We will have Nick's health in just a little bit, so that'll help cut down the time of this break, too. Good luck, everyone. Going on baseball today. How are my picks doing today, folks? Got a got a real long shot in Pittsburgh today, and they are only down by one in the fourth. All right, I'm okay with that. I'm on another long shot, the Orioles, and they're tied at two. I'm on the Indians, who are currently being perfect gamed <laughs> in the sixth. I've got the Tigers plus one and a half runs at plus 200 in, in Houston. That game uh, is just underway in second inning. I'm on the White Sox tonight. They're at zeros early in the game. On the Oakland, uh, on the Oakland later tonight and on Toronto later tonight. We've got football on the TV right here. I think I'm on the Falcons. Yeah, I'm doing preseason. Uh, Indians got their first hit, good. Hopefully they'll get some runs too. There's Nick right there, folks. So if you look at the camera above my head, the Nick Cam, will help us out there. Ravens already up 13 0 in this bird game. And there's usually on the like one short, short print variation for nine boxes. Oh. We don't catch it. Catch it. Right, there we go. What does it look like? I don't know. They have like some have gold border, like a gold foil. Some have a facsimile auto on it. Oh, okay. There's photo variations on that. Like heritage, kind of. Gotcha. We'll try, we'll do our best to look out for that. Carbon Connection has it on their homepage right now. First article. All the different stuffs. That first data. Alright, here's a link to the Carbon Connection.com variation guide. Oh, yeah, and I'm going to flip the screen just a second. How do I make that go down then? You gotta fold the mouse up. <laughs> I can do that. I can just use the scroll wheel right there. Uh, so there's the base, there's the variations right there. So we'll try to catch as many of these as possible. So like that one. Like, come on. Yeah. So I guess the short prints, 58 stuff, that's the variation? I mean, all right. We'll try to catch as much of that as possible. 
but we'll catch in the sword. So but yeah, we'll sort by the back but those of... but those super short prints are like the the ones we need to really focus on. Alright, so there you go. <laughs> like, but like we were gonna, we were gonna like steal archives. steal archives cards from people. Out of one seventy five. You never know. Kyle Storber. I've seen the emails. That's true. I don't like when the cards are off camera for like two seconds. It's shady. What year was this? Early nineties. The design for this. Archives has all different types of designs. Our first on-card autograph is Jody Davis. Cubbies. That goes to Sergio. These are obviously all facsimile autographs. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, hey. Those Tough Magazine autos are the case hit. Yeah, so when we see the autograph there, that will be the case boom. Is that a... I don't know, is it? Oh, so the signature omission is the parallel. That's the base card. If gotcha. So if there's none, no facsimile. That would be a parallel? Okay. Yes. So most of them will have the facsimile. So it'll look weird when there's no facsimile. Got so it. That one's 1975. So we have the Expo's 50th, 50 year anniversary stamp right there on those two. Those are pretty cool. And Ozzy Albies is 1953. Or 58. Try to save as many of these as possible. Mothra, what's going on? Are you hanging with Velbs sometimes? I don't know who Velbs is. And that's Johnny Gomes. Remember Johnny Gomes? That's to 150. That's for the Red Sox. That's going to go to Daniel Hayes, one of his last bought Mojo teams. So th those were our two on-card autographs per box. So these will ship too. All right, this is the next box. Good luck everybody.
kind of like Lou Gehrig in that. What year is this? 1993 design right here. It's kind of a trip seeing those names on that design. <laughs> I thought that Randy Johnson was on the Expos. He played on so many teams. Yeah. I just didn't realize how many teams he played Diamondbacks, for. Diamondbacks, Mariners, Yankees. Uh, Yankees, that's right. Yeah, yeah, uh, Expos. Uh, no Marta 175. Red Sox. One more team. Yeah. You never hear from him. He's never, he doesn't do TV and stuff. He's, he's busy fo photo photo photographing. Oh, that's He's the photographer, yeah. Ivan Rodriguez, Yvonne Rodriguez, mini. I think Chipper Jones is the guy who is just wild. Remember when Chipper Jones saved the lives of some people during a fire? He tweets some call <laughs> So is this like a short print then? No. Because it doesn't have the, like a variation? Oh, no, it's no. not. It's not that. That's it. Oh, it has to be specifically from... Specifically that year. Yeah. Specifically the 1975. Is that the 1975 design, though? It is, yeah. I think that's a signature emission parallel. Or is it... Or is it this design, one of these? Oh, designs? or... Because it's 75. Huh, but they still don't... They still all have the facsimile so maybe, on yeah, it. Yeah, maybe it is a... It looks like a signature emission parallel. I guess we can look at the code. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just look at the code. We talked about this. I know. Here it is. The variation for 1975 ends in 070. Oh, it's not. It ends in 58. False alarm. Base ends in 053. So all the variations end in 70. That's what it says. We could, yeah, have, why, why can't we, we could have just looked at the codes. Yeah. I've never seen a During the break. How long Ooh, Juan Soto. Ooh. Autograph. That's nice. Chris Garosi with the Nats. Nice. That's a nice one for, uh, once again, Chris Garosi. And another autograph right after that. Gorman Thomas for the Brew Crew. Kind of has an Elvis sort of look. Maybe that is Elvis. Maybe he's not dead. And he played pro ball yeah, that's a theory, in, the, in the 70s and early 80s. Didn't he die in his toilet? Crazy. I think so, yeah. Gorman Thomas. Uh, Ginger, yes. Chronicles 2 has busted open. That video is uploaded already. So we've done Chronicles 2 and 3. And we had Nick's help, so those videos are, are half the time. So you should be able to fast forward or breeze through it fairly quickly. Good luck. Is that a third autograph in here? Yeah, it looks there like it is. It. Jeff Reardon. I don't think those two first autographs were supposed to be back to back. Oh yeah, I don't think. I think you're right. We got a, we got a sneaky bonus autograph. Should we contact Hops and send one back? Although one might be missing. And one we should send one. All right. Yeah, we'll send the. People are always like, "Hey, they shorted us an autograph. You should you should talk to them." Except when it goes in their favor. Yeah. Then they but if we get a bonus it's like autograph, the slot then, machine. Like, <laughs> right. if the slot machine malfunctions, it's canceled. That that mini Pudge is pretty cool too. 
Rich, do you remember Jeff Reardon? I do not. Oh, I think I remember him as a Whoa, in a, look at his mug shot in there. a twin uniform. Is that a mug shot? Where? I mean, what else is that? The, the story's titled "The Heart of Jeff Reardon's Dark." The Heart of Jeff Reardon's Darkness. That's, a, that's, a, that's some dark days for Jeff Reardon. Wait, he's a robber? He attempted robbery, yeah. Alright, we'll have to... Here, if you guys are curious. There it is, from an article back in 2006. I guess he's back on track now. Can't be that bad, or else he's kind of... Someone, someone read that article and summarize it for us. I've been moving them all back there. Okay. There's Lourdes Guriel to 25. Oh, Raiders. In Winnipeg. That's 99 at David Dahl for the Rockies. Come on, Peter, man. And we got Kevin Tappany. You guys remember Kevin, Kevin Tappany? He pitched into the 2000s. He logged in 168 innings in the last season of his career. That's not bad. That'll be for the Twins. Sanford with the Twins. Was Kevin Tappany a Rookie of the Year, Trevor's asking? Uh, Mothra Arthur was checked in last night. Arthur's been avoiding us because he's trying to save money for Spectre football. So he's like, I can't, I can't come in here. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to end up spending my Spectra football money on that. That's one of his favorite products. Passmore saying Foles is looking good. I think that's all the Jaguars really needed, right? It was just like a, a competent quarterback. And I feel like that defense should be back on track. They get that defense back on track. They could, they could be a pretty dangerous team this year, the Jaguars. Oh, do they play KC? Where? In Jacksonville. In, oh, Jacksonville. Well, we're going to find out real quick Chiefs how are, good that defense is. Huh. 
trying to do too. Chiefs defense has gotten better as well. Really bad. They got Tyron Matthew. I mean, that's the they only thing. Frank Clark. That's the only thing they needed to fix, and they just went out and did it. Yeah. They just like loaded it up. No. Well, no. Yes. <laughs> so I guess it evened out. Yeah, right? I figured there would be. Because there's three autos. So there are two autos from the first box, three autos from the second box, and just one from the most recent box that we did. All right. So I guess it evened out. Oh, I think I missed an auto? I don't know which stack it was. At the beginning, so that would be at the bottom? Do you remember who it was? I'm just trying to pay attention to it. Stack and mix up the stacks. I look, I look for it though. Yes. What are the? This is the ones I already did, right? Yeah. For the next box, okay. Yeah. Sutton is to 99, by the way. Or, yeah, one out of 99. There's Mike Lieberthal for the Phillies. John Samuelson with the Fightins. It's Mike Lieberthal doing these days. I think I might have mixed it up. That's the thing. When I was I, when I was putting them back there, I shifted them around. Future star Austin Meadows autograph to ninety nine. So that's our second autograph of the box. Bob Wessel, what's going on?
time. Next box. We got Old Royal Mike Sweeney. Vince, what's going on? Punisher Prime in the house. That's the X line with the Royals. No, nothing. No. Might have, might have been a facsimile autograph that flashed by the screen. Yeah, I think it's green. Uh, no, no Yankees yet, Marco. Aside from like maybe some variations that we might have missed or something like that, that'll all ship to you. You know, and aside from that, no Yankees autographs as of yet. Yeah, I do too, Vince. I, th I think they features a few different years, 1958, 1975, and 1993. Oh. There's that, that Falcons defense. I have not seen the case hit yet, which would be that Topps Magazine card, but with an autograph on it. No yellow tops. Mm. Nick Jasper says no, I'm afraid. But you could still collect yellow in all the different different years, though. I've seen a couple pass by. There's Bill Gullickson. I don't remember Bill Gullickson. I remember Mike Sweeney, like vaguely. Not Bill Gullickson, though, but that'll go to Chris Garosi. And the Nationals Expos combo. No problem. Yeah, the the Brewers are like sixteen ninety nine, I think. They have a, they have an auto or two, but no no yellow. It would have been like double or triple probably. A lot of old school guys, they call them fan favorites, so. Guys that don't have a ton of autographs. Like old Bill Gullickson. Yeah. Old Bill Gullickson. What's Bill Gullickson doing these days? They got six, Gullickson's married to Sandy Gullickson. They have six kids. Casey's on the track and field team at Notre Dame. Carly's a pro tennis player, got up to number 123 on the rankings. Ch Chelsea Gullickson won the 2010 NCAA Women's uh, Division I Women's Single Tennis Champion for Georgia. And then Craig Gullickson, a standout pitcher at Cardinal Newman High School, one of the best pitchers in Florida, received a scholarship to play for Clemson. Wow. Callie Gullickson, dancer and model, attended Pace University in New York City, and Chloe Gullickson is a tennis player, number two in Florida. We got a scholar, full scholarship to Virginia, man. Just producing nothing but athletes. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's nice. It definitely helps with the. Definitely helps having Nick on here, helping us out with the longer sort of breaks. Makes these things go a little bit faster. I kind of remember Will Cordero. Frankie Cordero? I don't know. I don't know Frankie Cordero. Come on, Raiders secondary. Whoa. Fan favorites autograph, Jorge Posada. There's your Yankees right there. Dude, I've never seen it. In a while, at least. Sign. And that's for Marco Santos Jr. And we got another autograph right back to back. Does that mean there's going to be a third autograph? There's Jeff Idelson of the National Baseball Hall of Fame. So we'll have to randomize that to someone in this break. All right, he's not associated with any pro team. So we'll randomize it to one person in the break. Let's see if there is. Now, last time we saw those autographs stuck together back to back, we saw a bonus autograph in here. So let's see if we see that. So I've not seen this case hit yet, the autograph version of that. There's Satis Jr. to 175. There it is, a bonus autograph, Steve Rogers. And that's for Chris Captain Garossi. America? Isn't his name Captain America, Steve Rogers? What, like in real, like the actor's name? No, like Captain America, before he became Captain America in the comics, his name was Steve Rogers. Let's find, let's find out, he is. Oh, poor Expo Steve Rogers. But his, the Expos guy should be nicknamed Captain America then. Although he played in Canada, so oh. it doesn't really work. That doesn't that doesn't really work. Is he uh, is he an American? He might be an American. Oh man, his poor no, Steve his Rogers. He's not even on the first oh, page he's, of he's Google. Right there. Oh, I guess see results about Steve Rogers baseball player. Um, yeah, only he was born in Missouri. Captain you America. Pick the American team then. He worked for the MLB PA right now. Lives in New Jersey. That's funny. Oh, yeah, he only played for the Expo his entire career, not Captain America. His uh, SEO is not great. Yeah. He's got to work on his branding. All right, so that third autograph right there, we'll leave right there so we can randomize it to one person in the break. Let's slide the next box over. We're almost done here, ladies and gentlemen. There's Cubs' Steve Stone, broadcaster for the Cubbies. What did Rick Monday do? What's that? 
Jim says tell you what Rick Monday did to him. Beamed him? What 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 did Rick Monday do to Steve Rogers? Oh, it shows up in Google search right away. Um, oh, yeah. I, I, I don't remember this. I'm a little too young for this. But in 1981, and NLCS, Homer, back on the AstroTurf. Look how big those stadiums are. Like, And the infield that doesn't have like the dirt in between the bases. That just, that just destroys knees. There you go, nice. So everyone's celebrating. He's having a good time. He's saving American. He's saving American flags and whatnot. There's Johnny Gomes. Second autograph. That came out. Both the autos came out kind of quick. Do we have a bonus auto in here? Another bonus auto? Maybe those non-baseball player autos are bonuses. Yeah, that's possible. Oh, you guys got Bruce Hector back, Nick. It's a season changer. Game Super Bowl. Super Bowl, that's a lock now. He was on the Cardinals, and it sounds like Ross Tucker on the on the call here says they got him back. There's the facsimile right there. Yeah, I don't think I don't think Rick Monday's allowed to go back to Montreal anymore after that one. And there is our third autograph, Bill Gullickson. Another Bill Gullickson. Chris Garosi, you're starting your Bill Gullickson PC. That one's out of 10. Nice. Doug March says, I believe Expo Stadium was supposed to be the first with the retractable roof, but they, but it never worked. That's Was that the one with like the big what looked like strings attached to the top of the stadium? Big cables, big wires on there? Or am I thinking of something else? Uh, I remember Marquise Grissom. It did have the wire. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that was supposed to be re that I did not know though. I didn't know it was supposed to be retractable because I never saw it retract. I keep this trips me out. I I keep thinking that that the, the, it's like that's like red ink right there, but it's not. <laughs> and I'm just kind of flying through it. That looks different because it's one out of 150. Etro for the Mariners. What are they, is that stadium still there? What do they do with that? Out of 175, Matt Duffy for the Rays. Three boxes go one, two, and three. Right here, you can see on the Nick Cam. So I've not seen this case hit yet. It's supposed to be there, allegedly. <laughs> Those Topps Magazine autographs should fall one per case. 
kind of running out of box. There's Rondell White. And there's Larry Durker for the Astros. That goes to Levi. I don't remember this guy. Maybe I kind of, he sounds familiar as a manager, but. Ah, so Doug's saying that the Expos team has not had a main tenant since the team left in 04. Despite decades of use savings, since your numerous structural and financial problems. No, no main tenant, huh? Until they bring the Rays back, turn them into the Expos. Sorry, Rays fans. DJ, that's, probably, that's precisely why they may end up in back in, or not back, but end up in Montreal. Remember how they talked about that split season thing? I think that's a that's a terrible idea. They were gonna spend half the year in Tampa Bay and the next half of the year in Montreal or something wacky like that. That'd be a nightmare. Not only schedule, just logistically, that would just be for all the players and executives and all the support staff there. That's just. And there's Rondell White autograph. Nice. That'll be for Chris Garosi. Two boxes to go. Oh, and the Montreal Sam outlived the uh, Silver Dome. There's Cookie Rojas. Remember old Cookie Rojas. The X line with the Royal. That's the 99. Wow, look at this. Cookie holds two unique designs. He's the only player to have played all nine positions and made the MLB All-Star game in both leagues. And he was the first foreign player to hit an, ML, an MLB All-Star game home run. Nice. DJ saying, when I went to Montreal back in 05, we saw the old Olympic Stadium where they played. Very cool looking stadium front outside, yeah. It is cool. There's Bryce Harper Mini. And I like how it's just, it's just Olympic Stadium. Like, you know it as that, you know what I mean? All these, I actually don't mind stadium sponsorships. I mind when they go through multiple stadium sponsorships, so you know you never know what to call it. Like the like the Home Depot Center here in LA has changed names like three times. Went from Home Depot Center to StubHub to like Dignity Health Park or something like that. 
I think the San Francisco Giants Stadium has. There's that gold foil right there. It was a little, just a little different. I think that's a short print. We'll save that for the Phillies. But the San Francisco Giants Stadium has has a. Uh, Changed names a ton, bunch of times. We already did. King Keto, do you want more? We got you that Jorge Posada. That was a nice Yankee. Out of 175, Roberto Clemente. DJ says you're done when some stadium becomes the Playtex Maxi Pad Park. I think that would be a little off brand for, for, some, for the stadiums. And there's the Mets' Brody Van Wagenen. Mets GM going to Mark Lance. And a bonus autograph. Another Yankee for Marco. This is Joe Pepitone. Nice. So three autos in there, which is pretty cool. So I've not seen this yet. Maybe we don't. Maybe we don't get one. I remember Cliff Floyd. He's on the. Uh, he's on MLB Network nowadays. And the last box, ladies and gentlemen. It's Justin Upton. That's to 175. On to Guzman, that's a 25. Got many Danny Jansen. There it is. 
I got. I was getting nervous for a second. There's the Topps magazine. Luis Severino autograph. That's a one per case, Marco. There you go. Tons of Yankees. Eighteen out of twenty-five. It's pretty cool. So that's auto one of two. So we should be expecting one more autograph out of here. And there it is. It's my boy Steve Sachs. That's for the Dodgers. That goes to Jack. And now let's see if we have any. Maybe a bonus auto, maybe a low numbered card, something like that. Tim Wallach. That, my friends, is that. No ran. Oh, yes, there is a randomizer. I was about to say no randomizer. There is a randomizer. Jeff idelson has got to go to somebody. So let's go back to this. I also realized that there, uh, we don't have any Diamondbacks, Rockies, or Tigers. So just in case there was a numbered card of that, we'll do that randomizer too. So the name on top will get the extra autograph, the Jeff Idelson autograph. The second name will get any and all numbered Diamondbacks, Rockies, or Tigers cards or inserts or whatever. I don't know what's being shipped, but someone will get that. So let's get everyone's names here. Jeff Idelson? No, he's not. He just says, just says National Baseball Hall of Fame on there. All right. Let's roll it and randomize it. Three and a six, nine times. Not everyone's names here. One, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine times, second name right here, John Samuelson. You'll get any of those Diamondbacks, Rockies, Tigers cards, if any. And the name on top, the extra autograph, goes to Michael. Michael K. with that one. So there you go. Thanks, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next break on jazbeescasebreaks.com. jazbeescasebreaks.com.